Why is that interesting? Well, we're talking Europe now. Europe is named after Europa. Europa was the name of a prostitute that was a god in, 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 the, in their mythology. Well, the thing is, John is not writing from that sense of the word. He's not writing from some kind of mythology. He's writing biblically when he refers there in John 17. He talks about there came one of the seven angels and talks about him seeing this great whore, a prostitute that's sitting on the back of many waters and colored with scarlet and purple. And it says that there's seven hills that are seven mountains on which this woman sits. Well, with all that said, look at the official stamp of the European Union's parliament. It shows a scarlet-colored beast here, scarlet-colored there, and you see this beast rising up out of water because you can tell there's the little dolphin there, and those water just so happens to be shaped like little hills. The little waves of water are shaped like hills, and count the hills. There's seven of them. And those seven hills are rising up this, this beast, this woman riding on this, and it's being led by a little angel. Now, folks, that's their official stamp. And do you, do you think when you look at, you see all this, you think, is this just a coincidence? I mean, that's in front of their buildings. You see the woman riding on the beast, grabbing onto the horns there. Here she is on the right side, holding the European flag, Europa riding on the back of the beast, and the little credit cards and the phone cards, and, and it's got the stars around it. And, and by the way, you can read there in Revelation, it talks about this woman with the stars around her head. Now, let me tell you something. When, 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 when John sees this woman, the Bible says it shocked him. Nothing, you'll read it. No other account where any prophet, when reading and giving off what God has revealed to him in vision, did they show that they were astonished. He was blown away. He was astonished because he saw this woman drinking blood of the saints in a golden cup and She's drunk. She's drunk with it. And God pulls in a close view of her forehead. And as he views into her forehead, written right on top of her head, Jeremiah talks about she had the, the, the whore, a, a harlot's forehead and their boldness in their, in their statement. And it says, mystery, Babylon the great, the mother of harlots, and of the abominations of the earth. Here is some kind of, not physical Babylon, not a real physical Iraqi Babylon, but a mystery Babylon, a symbolized by a harlot system. And yet when you take a look at this, folks, the connection of Babylon and Europe is more than just this woman in the title. Look at the very fact that the Tower of Babel, the, the, the world's famous, most famous painting and drawing of the Tower of Babel, it's been around for hundreds of years, was the, 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 the pattern from which they, the European Union built their official parliament building there in Strasbourg. This is, the, and they said they wanted it to look like it was incomplete because they said, we want to give off the image that our job is not done. We are continuing to build to bring about unity. Now, folks, you think that's a coincidence? And guess what? That's happened in our lifetime. You and me live to see this happen right before our very eyes. Now, what are we going to do with it? You're going, oh, that's just a coincidence. Let me tell you something. What's crazy about this is their official poster that you see on the right Notice it says, Europe, many tongues, one voice. See down at the bottom right hand? And you'll see it shows the crane there as they continue to build it. And there's the stars. But notice all the stars are upside down. They're inverted pentagrams, which is a, an international symbol of, of Satan worship. There's a spirit over top of this, folks, that's so bizarre. And you know what this is? What I'm doing tonight, I'm pilling an onion. I'm just peeling, I'm going to do this for you. The layers just keep going and going and going. I could, I'm telling you, it is mind-boggling. If anybody would, would get through all this and think, oh, that's just a hoax, that's just an accident, that's just a coincidence. I'll tell you what's wrong. 
people don't understand that this is all coming to an end. And I don't know where you and I fit as Americans, but I know it's not a pretty sight, according to the Bible. And tomorrow night, I'm going to prove to you beyond doubt there's something going on very serious. But listen to this as I wrap this up. When you and I watch this, what you've got to understand is this that we're seeing right now, this is the infant stage. We're not to the very end yet because guess what? We, we, we know we're not at the end because the Bible says that it would come into the feet, into the ten toes. Right now, the European Union has at least 27 states, and there's many more that are being added. But according to the Bible, this will eventually come somehow. I don't know how it's going to happen. And I don't. I, all I know is I bet you anything we'll see it happen. Soon, somehow, some way. Now, don't misunderstand, because some people say, well, doesn't the club are own, haven't they divided the... The, the, the planet in the ten sections. Yeah, but that's not what the Bible says is going to happen. The Bible says that this area, the old Roman Empire, will be what will turn into this ten feder, uh, uh, confederacy. And then from that will rise another horn. You say, what, what do you mean another horn? Well, we hear Daniel's dream. And I'm going to really wrap this up now. You know what it means when a preacher looks at his watch? <laughs> Nothing. Okay? But I am truly, I am truly about ready to be done. And it really isn't that late. How many know it's, it's not, nine o'clock is not too bad. It is eight even nine yet. Okay. Truly, uh, I'm, I'm wrapping it up. Okay. <laughs> Here's what happens. The Bible says. When Daniel sees, or when he gives the interpretation to Nebuchadnezzar, he, he sees it as this beautiful statue, with marvelous workings. Years later, Daniel has a similar dream, but everything he sees it from has beastie looks to it. And that's followed up at the very end by an undescribable beast. And this beast rises up and has on its head, ten horns. Now, folks, that's very important because you'll read this a lot. You read ten horns in Daniel 2, and then you'll read ten horns in Daniel 7, and then you'll read ten horns in Revelation 12, and then you'll read ten horns in Revelation 13. And what do you do in there when you get to Revelation 17? You find out ten horns again. Well, these toes and these horns all are numbering are the exact same, they're just different illustrations. Each one of these are taking a different angle to describe the exact same event. Horns, which are in essence talking about these powers of kingdoms that come forth. This is what it's going to have to come down to. Now, as I said earlier, we know for a fact there's still some time going on. I don't know how much longer. We don't know how it would happen. We don't know what the economy would have to do to help force it. We, you know, we, we know, uh, I mean, a, a week, every time a week goes by, things just transpire so fast. And yet, here's the thing. We know for a fact that Daniel said by interpretation that this would eventually get into ten. And from this, in the days of these kings, and let's take a look at this passage, and in the days of these kings, what kings? The ten Kingdoms are the ten kings that rule out of the European Union. That the God of heaven shall set up a what? Kingdom. All of a sudden we got one more kingdom. Because if you remember, we haven't told the whole story yet. You remember how the dream ends? And this it says, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed... And the kingdom shall be left to, to uh, shall not be left to other people, but it shall break the pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. How many believe that's going to happen? Amen. Well, you know what? That's because you, you remember the old story. We we read the end of the book, and we find out who wins. This is the uh, this is the end. We get the end. Saddam Hussein of his day, Nebuchadnezzar, got the end. It ain't happened yet. It's still in the future. 